Did you know that how you think about time affects your mental health, your attitude, and the decisions you make? It's a psychological construct called time perspective. That's what I'm talking about today. I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, a psychiatrist, and I make mental health education videos. At its core, the time perspective refers to how we divide our mental energy among the past, present, and future. It's about how often we visit these time frames, the emotions they evoke, and their importance in our decision-making process. Dr. Philip Zimbardo, a pioneer in this field, developed the time perspective inventory, which looks at five dimensions of time perspective, past negative, past positive, past fatalistic, past hedonistic, and future. With past negative thinking, you focused on regrettable and painful past experiences. With past positive thinking, you reflect on the good old days with nostalgia. With present hedonistic thinking, you live in the moment for pleasure and don't think much about future consequences. With present fatalistic thinking, you resign yourself to being helpless and hopeless with little self-determination. You're just subject to the whims of life. With future-oriented thinking, you're focused on planning for and anticipating future events with little attention to the present. You can think of your time perspective as a lens through which you view life. Your mental health can suffer when you overfocus on one perspective over another. Here's how that can look. If you skew heavily toward past negative perspective, you can ruminate on regrets, disappointments, and failures. This kind of thinking can keep you stuck in the past, holding grudges and not taking risks for fear of being disappointed or failing. It's hard for you to enjoy the present and forge ahead with your future if the past is ever present on your mind. Then there's the reminiscing that goes on with past positive perspective. It sounds good, and it can be comforting to think about these experiences, but you can idealize your past to the extent that you get stuck there and are unable to continue in your personal development. If you are focused too much on a present hedonistic perspective, you may experience a lot of immediate gratification and feel a sense of personal freedom and agency, but it can also make you act impulsively and have trouble with long-term planning. With a present fatalistic perspective, your feeling of lack of control may cause anxiety, apathy, and no motivation to take charge and go forth and make changes to your life. Then with a future-oriented perspective, you prioritize planning and goal setting, which is good, but an overfocus on this can rob you of the joys of the present. It's as if you have someone standing in for you going through the motions until some magic day when you finally live in that moment. Also, the constant striving and planning can cause anxiety and stress, and having your life pass you by while you didn't feel in it can leave you with a lot of regrets later. This can be especially true if you miss out on key relationships that you can't get back, like children growing up or loved ones passing away before you had a chance to enjoy their company. So what's the solution here? Balance. All of these time perspectives have some value, but excessively focusing on one over the other has negative effects on your well-being. The research suggests that a balanced perspective is weighted in this order. The most focus should be on past positive so you can celebrate your wins, have a moderate focus on the future so you can plan more wins, have a moderate focus on present hedonistic so you can enjoy your present, and then less focus on past negative so you can learn from your mistakes but not punish yourself for them, and then the least focus on present fatalistic so you can feel strong and self-sufficient. Here are a few things that you can do to balance your time perspective. To balance a past negative focus, reflect on uplifting moments that you may have had and just taken for granted. When past missteps come to mind, allow these positive memories to serve as a counterbalance. Understand that each mistake offers an opportunity to learn. Instead of being trapped by past regrets, extract lessons from those experiences. Embrace both the highs and the lows of your past, focusing on personal growth over remorse. To balance a past positive focus, ground yourself in the present while also setting sights on the future. 
create actionable goals and anticipate what you have to look forward to. To stay connected to the present, practice mindfulness by immersing yourself in your current experiences using all of your senses. To balance a present hedonistic focus, spend some time thinking about positive past memories and future goals. Monitor any overindulgent behaviors that you've engaged in or want to engage in by imagining the long-term impact of that behavior. Actually picture in your mind what things would be like if you experienced the negative consequences. To balance a present fatalistic focus, set some well-defined achievable goals for yourself. Practice gratitude for past and present wins. If you feel overwhelmed by life's unpredictability, focus on the things that you can control, like your decisions, reactions, and attitudes. Then treat yourself to things you enjoy in the moment. And lastly, to balance a future-oriented focus, learn to savor the moment by practicing mindfulness and gratitude. You want to find joy in what's going on right now instead of holding back, waiting for something in the future. Staying connected to others through conversation also helps keep our perspectives in check because we can see how our beliefs and actions aligned with other people's views. I hope this helps you understand your dominant time perspective and how it can affect your mindset. Keeping your perspective balanced goes a long way toward promoting mental wellness. Thanks for watching. See you next time.